for cheap and reliable coins, check out MMOGA. The link will be down in the description below. Support my channel by using it. Hey, what's up guys? It's S2G and welcome to the season finale of the Barcelona career mode series. And today we're going to be playing the Champions League final. And it's going to be amazing guys. We've beaten Bayern, we've beaten Moscow, we've beaten Dortmund and now we are here facing Chelsea. It's going to be one heck of a game against them and in real life, Barca's record against Chelsea isn't that good. So this game's going to be kind of tough. We are playing Chelsea guys at the San Siro. It's a neutral stadium. So it shouldn't affect the game that much, but it's going to be an amazing game. And obviously we have lost the league, we have lost the Copa del Rey, that means we're still trophyless and this is our only chance this season to win a trophy. And as you can see, that's Chelsea's lineup. Players like Costa, Hazard, Oscar, it's an incredible team, but I think our team is way superior. We have Messi, we have Neymar, we have Suarez, we have Iniesta, we have Pogba, our team is full of stars. We also have Matic who we signed from Chelsea who he will be playing against his former side. It's going to be an amazing game. Have a look at it. Even Otamendi and PK are starting. Alba and Alves will be the fullbacks and Ter Stegen will be our goalkeeper. But now they have the first chance of this game in the sixth minute as the ball is with Mikel. He plays it wide to William here. It's still William with the ball. He crosses it in to Oscar and he scores in the seventh minute of this game. It's Chelsea 1. Barca nil. How is this happening? Great goal from Chelsea though, but now they have another chance here. The ball is with Ramirez here. He plays it back to Espelicueta, who plays it to Mikel, who's been amazing up till now. Who plays it to Willian, and he scores a goal. This can't be happening. It's already 2-0. Unbelievable. What am I doing? I really don't understand. And Willian scores a very good goal. We've been just all over the place and Chelsea have been dominating us. But now in the 28th minute we have a chance here. Iniesta starts to move. Plays it to Suarez. Now to Pogba. Now back to Neymar. Neymar plays it to Iniesta. And Iniesta with a golden chance to get at least one goal back. Misses. But now we have a chance here in the 45th minute just before half time. But Neymar couldn't put a very good ball into the box. And it's half time now. It's been a very poor half for us. But now I'm going to be making a lot of changes. I'm switching to a 4-3-3 attack. Playing Messi in cam. I'll just put him in cam right now. And also, I'll be bringing off Rakitic and uh, placing, I think, yeah, Delafeu instead of him and Iniesta in midfield. So, it's a very attacking formation and let's see if it helps us in maybe getting a goal or two back. And now we have a chance here in the 55th minute. The ball is with Iniesta. Now Messi. Messi leaves one player to the ground and then he goes past another. It's still Messi here. Yeah. Oh, he was so close to getting a goal for himself. It's still 2-0 to Chelsea. Messi can't score against Chelsea. This game... It's been so hard for us, and but now we have a chance here in the 65th minute, coming through a free kick. It's Messi to take it. It's Messi to take it, and what a save from their goalkeeper. Absolutely insane stuff from, I think, Czech that was. But now we have a chance here in the 69th minute as Messi is with the ball here. He's been amazing since we changed the formation. It's still Messi, but he is tackled. Chelsea are really defending like gods now. They, I think, on park the bus, and they're just completely defending. Just, just defending actually and as you can see look at the amount of players surrounding Messi there's no way he's gonna get past all of them in game but obviously in real life he can do such stuff but not here but now in the 87th minute maybe we can try and get one goal back so we can see what happens but Suarez's header hits the post and comes back but Iniesta still has a chance but he completely ruins it by playing it back and basically guys that's the end of this game we have lost another title so close but yet so far we were so close to winning the league but we couldn't and the Copa del Rey final we lost and now we lost the Champions League final. It's been a really bad season for us and well I don't know what to say now Chelsea are celebrating all the Barca players are like crying it's, it's so disappointing and well we've lost literally everything. Messi is still top scorer of the Champions League but that's pointless only trophies matter and as you can see Suarez is also the top assister. We definitely deserved to win that game but the first 20 minutes Chelsea were way superior and now it's time for a squad report. Sorry guys that was my phone just leave that and as you can see a lot of players are growing. Jordi Alba has gone up by two, Matic has gone up by two as well Pogba hasn't grown, Iniesta has gone up by two, Messi hasn't grown which is surprising, Suarez has gone up by one, Neymar has gone up by one, Xavi has gone down by one, Dybala has gone up by three, Delefeu has gone up by two, Tastegan is still the same, Pedro has gone up by two, Rakitic is still the same, Mascherano has gone up by two and these are just the youth players, Francisco Miguel and Humberto Sanchez who will go out on loan next season, Munir has gone up by one, Rafinha by one. Uh, Martin Montoya now by one, Adriano hasn't grown, Matthew has gone up by two which is amazing, 
and uh, the rest of the players are just our lone players um, among which Sergi Roberto impresses me and he'll definitely be part of the squad next season and if you guys found it going too fast the report then you can just have you can just go back and pause there and this is the squad ranking Messi has been obviously the best player of the team Suarez in second place but I've, I'm still disappointed with this team um, I mean with players like Messi, Neymar and Suarez we should have definitely won at least something but I think it was the formation which was my the fault that cost us everything I think I should have stick with the 4-3-3 attack one which I used in the second half of the Champions League but from now on I'll be using that formation and playing Messi in camp you know he'll be the focal point of everything apart from that guys I'm offering a contract to Fabio Gerardi a fantastic player in our youth setup and I think he could be a very good player for us in the future he's signing up for us and it's good to see 79 to 93 potential now Nicolo De Sanctis he's got 79 to 94 potential which is absolutely insane we'll be signing him up as well we have enough money to afford all these transfers and well let's see if he accepts I, I'm pretty sure he'll accept who wouldn't want to be a part of the first team in Barcelona he'll obviously go out on loan but still we still have some good players here left to sign but we'll sign them after they turn 16 and maybe after May apart from that these are the few players we have in our youth academy and uh, yeah I just signed a few players there and as you can see right here uh, De Sanctis who has already just signed the contract is now a 71 rated player and the weird part is he can even play in our field which is kind of weird have you guys seen that ever let me know down in the comments below and also uh, Gerard his work rate really disappoint me but he's got 75 vision which is very good he could be the next Xavi which is amazing and that's basically that for the youth setup and all and as you can see right here, Mascherano wants to leave the club, which is very, very disappointing. And also, uh, this, our season has been very disappointing. We couldn't win anything, the league, nor the Champions League, nor the Domestic Cup. We really need to improve next season. And that's, I hope they'll let, let me keep the job. And guys, they have, I think, let me keep, keep keep the job. And as you can see, a lot of players are going out and loan. And so many players I've put on the transfer list plays like Xavi the reason being it's not because you know he's old or anything because he's left the club in real life I would have loved to kept him but you know I just wanted to keep it realistic while letting him go as he has in real life also I'm putting Matic on the transfer list that might be a bit uh, of controversy but that's because I'm switching to a 4-3-3 attack with the cam being used so there's definitely no place for Matic so basically guys this is for now my first team with Messi in camp, Suarez as striker, Neymar on the left, Delefe on the right, Pogba and Iniesta in midfield, Alba, Otamendi, Pique and Alves in defence and Bravo and goalkeeper. So we need a right-sided player, uh, a right winger, a right mid, uh, top class, world class, a backup camp and a backup left back. Apart from that guys, do leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Apart from that, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in my next video.